everyone, if you don't already know me, my name is Ethan and I'm a first year medical student here at UCLA. I've been making weekly videos as a form of mentorship and self-reflection. So here's one and I really, really hope you enjoy. We have our document course today where we are learning to work with interpreters. So just heading to class right now. Today is Tuesday. Didn't talk too much on the camera yesterday just because it was a very long and crazy day. If I didn't already mention, next week we have our cardio and renal exams, which I think is some of the hardest content we have learned so far. This week is just going to be filled with a lot of studying, but hopefully it will be worth it. And fingers crossed that the exams go well. Kind of nervous. <laughs> John, we just went and got some coffee after our large group this morning. Our large group was on acid, acid disorders, acid, acid and base, disorders. acid base disorders. How did it go? It's fine. We have a test coming up next week, so I'm more focused on stressing about that than I am how large group went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stress is in the air for sure. How are you doing, Ethan? Oh, I'm wow. good. Oh, oh hey, hey. Jump cut. Oh, my hair. Oh, no. How's my hair? I think your hair is great. Uh, the um, vanity in this room. I know, right? Well, I think I'm doing really well. I'm running a little preventative, <laughs> preventative, oh. preventative medicine. Both, both, you can use both, it turns out. You can use both. I'm running a little session this afternoon, so I'm really looking forward to that. Jason and I are supposed to be studying, but we took a little study break just to get some boba. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, gonna have some leftovers from the event. But this is all that's left over. It's just this sad little salad. Someone took the rest of the food. Shad. Just went to the gym, worked out, took a shower, now biking to class. It starts in like two minutes. Gotta make it there soon. So we just had a lecture on divalent ions. So conditions like secondary and primary hyperparathyroidism. So super interesting. For the rest of the day, I have nothing scheduled. So I think I'm just gonna head to the library and do a lot of studying. about nine o'clock. Really, really long, productive day of studying. Just leaving the med school now. This morning, we had a little large group session on urinary tract infections. How did it go, John? It was good. Infectious diseases. Yeah, really Super interesting. Fun. Really interesting. We have exams. We have exams. <laughs> we have exams. We have exams. The stress have is in the air. No stress? Just kidding. Stress. But not too much. Not too much. I think reasonable stress. A little stress is good. Talk to me next week. Okay. Talk to us next week. So this morning I had a lecture on urinary tract infections, then did some little bit of studying with John, now heading to the sim center, the simulation center for a renal case. I think a little birdie told me that we'll be doing a case with someone with hyperkalemia, so really, really high potassium levels in the blood. So we're gonna we're learn 
how to treat an acute case of that. So heading there now, I'm a little late. Uh, okay, for the record, I'm not that late. I think I still have like five minutes. John very, very kindly got me this coffee this morning, which I thought was so, so kind. Oh, I love my classmates. Had sim lab this morning. The simulation center is really, really incredible. It's just a really cool space to learn. There was an anesthesiologist leading the session. Loved every minute of it, learned a lot. Always makes me feel a little bit bad about myself, but that's okay, that's life. We live and we learn and we grow together. And I like how collaborative everyone is. So it's a really cool space to learn. Yeah, I'm rambling now, but we just went to Trader Joe's, got some overnight oats. Chickpea kale, red rice, a banana, and some apples. Don't want to get uh, hyper kalemic though, so you gotta be careful. Only one banana. So we got John here. How's it going, John? Good. So, what'd you get from Trader Joe's today? I am wrapping the spring rolls with tofu and the Caesar salad. Wow. That car is honking, they're so happy for you. <laughs> okay, so this is the med school behind us, our beautiful, beautiful med school. And this is John. We're just gonna enjoy some sunshine and some Trader Joe's. Jatesh, Jatesh, what are we doing today? Uh, we're practicing for OSCE that's coming up soon. Nice. Um, just doing a cardiac exam for hypertension mainly, examining nice. different causes of hypertension. And I'm here with Pedram and Rashid. This one's a little different. We actually have to make a choice of what exams we want to do ourselves, and uh, we won't give feedback until the actual exam. So we'll see how it goes. Nice. How are you feeling? I think it's great. It's exciting. We get to consider all the potential things that could go wrong and one by one <laughs> check each system. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. Awesome. It's also you... a lot more pressure too because it's the first time we don't have like a, an actual rubric to like follow through. So yeah. we're the persons like selecting and coming up with what possibilities of exam we should, exam, yeah. we should perform. Tricky for sure, but you Good all practice. are going to, you all are going to do great. Thanks. 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 You too. Jonah, how's it going? It's going great. You ready for your OSCE? Not really, but this is a practice run, so I think I'm ready enough to begin practicing. Our OSCE is this Tuesday, right? Yeah, OS the real thing is this Tuesday. I think the hardest thing will be time management. We have a lot to do in only 25 minutes, so as long as you keep pace, I think you'll be okay. Cool. Well, I have full confidence in you. You're going to do great. Thank you. I am confident in you as well. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so this is Olga. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling for the OSCE? I'm feeling good, yeah. I think we've been like practicing a lot and you know, it's always exciting to have a little bit of a challenge. So we're kind of ready for a challenge. It's going to be interesting OSCE because we don't know exactly what's going to happen. The patient, we don't know all the information about the patient. So it's going to be exciting. Some detective work, real fake medicine detective work. So I'm excited. You got it. You got it. Okay, just finished working with the standardized patient. It went okay. I got some good feedback for this upcoming Tuesday. Did too much explaining. I said looks good when I should really just say looks normal, everything's normal. Fundoscope technique. I have to do it on both eyes, so I'll get that. Do a better job next time. Robing and properly draping the patient. That's always like a challenge for sure. And then I keep doing this. I need to, I need to not do this, but I listen over the clothes with my stethoscope in one place and I should never do this. So I'm living and I'm learning and just need more practice before this Tuesday. So it should be good, it should be good. I'll work on it. Friday morning, just on campus now, just med school, grabbed a coffee, a protein bar, gonna study all day with John, so it should be a good day. John, how is studying going? Studying is going. It's I've gone. Had, I wanna say 1,300% of my daily sodium intake today, and I've had 
four cups of coffee. This is not good. This is not good. I'm really worried for you. I'm really, oh, really I thought you meant the videos. I, I was, no, no. You know, I, this is who I am. This is who you are, and this we is accept me. it. You're getting me raw, unfiltered, pure sodium. It's good. It's good. It's okay. I'm gonna take these self assessments at some point. You're gonna. The exam. You got this. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. And Ahmed, how are you doing over there? How's it going? Oh, absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. How's yeah. your studying going? Yeah, I haven't had my four cups of coffee yet, but I feel like once I have them, you know, they're locked. Yeah, that's the key, right? Yeah. That's the key. Well, you got this. I believe in you. Cause you're studying. Amazing. Amazing. I love being here. That's not true. Friday night, long, long study day. I'm at my friend's apartment building. He gave me his key, just doing my laundry. Saturday, about to be a super, super, super long study day, but I have my coffee, so everything should be okay. John and I are heading over to Anatomy Tutoring. Are you ready? No. Not at all? I'm ready, I'm not ready. I don't know. We have tests. We have stress. Many tests, many tests coming up. Pass fail. Pass fail. Just saying words now. <laughs> it's I'm gonna. Tired. I'm hungry. We're going into anatomy. It's gonna be two hours long. It's but Saturday at five o'clock. It's five o'clock. We're a little late to the session, so we gotta gotta hurry up. Wanna go home? Okay, it is seven o'clock on a Saturday night. I'm still here at the med school. Had an incredible, incredible tutoring session in the cadaver labs. I think I'm gonna stick around until nine o'clock, get some more studying in. Honestly, I like love it so much. It is so much fun and like such a privilege to be studying what we're studying. So it does not feel like a, a chore at all. I honestly, I might be crazy, but I love, I love being here, so. Okay, it is a Sunday, full house today. How's everyone doing? Happy Good? To Happy to be here. Living, living the dream. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. It is about seven o'clock. I was feeling so, so good about myself. I made it through all of cardio review. I made it through week one of renal, and now I've hit week two of renal and going over acute kidney injury, and it's just, super, super tough to understand. So a little frustrated with myself right now. Just taking a walk to get some food and I'm gonna head back to the books. Okay, that's the end of this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching. If you enjoyed watching, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day.